Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you are here. Today's video is going to be the top five reasons that you're probably not seeing results. So I'm gonna give you five different tips, five different reasons why you're probably not seeing results, whether the results you're looking for is to lose weight, gain muscle, anything like that. If you implement these tips into your routine, you will see results after. <laughs> I know how frustrating it can be to, you know, think you're on the right track and think you're doing everything right and you're not seeing any results. So I am here to help you. If you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up if you like these tips. Um, and if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video with me. I'm not gonna waste anyone's time. We're just gonna hop right into the video. So if you've been following me for a while, you know what tip number one is gonna be. It's going to be nutrition. Oh my gosh, of course it is. So you guys, whatever your goal is, I don't care if you're trying to stay the same, lose weight, gain weight, whatever it is, your nutrition needs to be in line with those goals. If you are trying to lose weight, you need to be eating in a calorie deficit and no, that does not mean that you should be eating a thousand calories a day. You need to figure out what exactly your body needs in order to hit your goals. I absolutely 100% recommend counting macros at the beginning because it is so important for you to know what your body needs and when it needs it. Um, and how much it needs and everything like that and it helps you understand food a lot more. You do not have to count macros forever. I absolutely recommend figuring out how many calories and how many macros and micros your body needs in order to see results in whatever your goal is. If you are trying to lose weight and you are not burning more calories than you are eating, you're just simply not gonna lose weight. If you're trying to put on muscle, you need to be eating more calories than what you are losing because that is how you gain muscle or gain weight. So please do your own research. Of course, I'm happy to help. I can help if you have any questions or anything like that. But honestly, you guys, the most effective way to know what your body needs for your results is to count your macros, understand macros, how they work, understand how many calories your body needs and everything like that. Tip number two, probably my favorite thing in the world, is to sleep. If your sleeping routine is completely off, your body's gonna be completely off. Honestly, you guys, you need to be focusing on sleeping. Sleeping is when your body does the most recovery. Your body is not in full recovery if you are only getting four or five hours of sleep at night. I personally recommend getting seven to nine hours of sleep. Also, when you don't get enough sleep, your hormone levels are through the roof. It throws everything out of whack. But once you get an appropriate amount of sleep, everything goes back to normal. So do your best to get enough sleep every single night. Okay, so number three is that you probably aren't challenging yourself enough during your workouts. And that's pretty, that's a hard truth. I mean, I had to overcome that for a while. I, I got used to just being like, okay, I'll just go and hit some arms. And I used the same eight pounds every single week. I did the same amount of weight in my squats every single week and I wasn't progressing. And you guys, honestly, you need to push yourselves. You also need to set your phone down when you are doing a workout. I see so many people just scrolling through their phone while on the leg extension machine or something like that and like you're not fully focusing on what you are doing and you're not gonna get the maximum results out of it, unfortunately. So set your phone down, challenge yourself, pick up a heavier dumbbell. Like for me personally, if I, for example, did, I don't know, if I was doing bicep curls at eight pounds last week, this week I would try to shoot for 10 pounds, but I would lower the reps a little bit. So if I was doing 12 reps at eight pounds last week, then I would do 10 pounds for eight to 10 reps this week, just to try to gain strength and gain momentum and everything like that, because you guys, honestly, you need to be challenging yourself. Your body's not gonna change unless you change, unless you do something different. Focus on challenging yourself in every single workout. I totally get it, sometimes you just, 
It's a miracle you got yourself to the gym. I totally get it. But on days that you feel good, that you're excited to work out, push yourselves. If you can get through a whole set and it wasn't challenging, your muscles were not burning, you need to up the weight. You're not gonna look like the Hulk from weight training. Honestly, you guys, weight training burns a lot more calories than just cardio. So you need to focus on challenging your body every single gym sesh. You got it? Tip number four is consistency. I feel like so many people look past this tip. You guys, you're not going to see results in two days. You're not going to wake up tomorrow 20 pounds lighter than you were yesterday. I can tell you, you need to work out for more than two weeks. You need to try a regimen for more than two months. It takes time to get your results. It honestly takes a lot of time to get you where you want to be. And I totally get it. Looking in the mirror every day and not seeing any changes is so hard, but your body needs time to adapt and recover and heal and work and lose the weight and everything like that. So be patient. Take your progress photos once every week because that is the best way for you to see if you're losing inches. The scale doesn't tell you shit. It's so important for you to understand that consistency is what is going to get you to where you wanna be. It's not gonna happen overnight, like I said. You need to remain positive, find a lifestyle, find a workout that works for you and your everyday life, but do something that can be built into your lifestyle so you don't dread it, so you don't give up, so you can keep going, so you can hit your goals at some point. Honestly, you guys, no matter what your goal is, consistency needs to remain, no matter what. And number five, this one is looked over all the time, and it's honestly probably going to shock you guys the most. You're probably not eating enough. Um, I know so many girls who reach out to me and they tell me they're eating like a thousand calories a day. My mouth literally hits the floor when people tell me that because your body needs way more than that. You cannot sustain a healthy lifestyle if you are eating a thousand calories a day. It's just, it's not sustainable. You need to create something that you can do forever so you can maintain and sustain. Like that is so important. So you guys, like I said in tip number one, nutrition is so important, but I view my body as like a car. If it doesn't have fuel, it's not gonna go anywhere. I highly recommend you doing the same. Your body needs food. Depriving your body from nutrients is only going to set you back. Your body goes into survival mode. You're starving, so it's going to store the fat and you're just not going to progress with your fat loss. If that's, if that's your goal, you're not going to progress at all. If you're trying to gain muscle, you're probably going to have to eat a lot more than you think. So that's why I always, always, always recommend doing your own research on macros and what your specific body needs. Of course, I'm here to help if you have any questions on that. But doing your own research and seeing what your body needs is so important. But cutting your calories to 1,000 calories is definitely not it. So you need to stop crash dieting and you need to eat good food that is going to benefit your body because then your body will be like, Great, this is awesome, I feel good. I'm gonna start shedding off the pounds, I'm gonna start gaining some muscle and things are gonna be good, honestly. Stay consistent, don't give up after two weeks. You guys, the time is gonna pass by anyway. So you might as well get your booty to the gym, get your butt to that spin class, anything that you like to do. Just get yourself there, stay consistent, show up, the results will come. Showing up is the hardest part, I know that. But once you're there, once you're putting your heart and soul into whatever you're doing, the outcome, you feel you feel great. I know you do. I know, because those endorphins. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Apply these tips to your daily lives so then everyone can lose their weight or gain muscle, everything like that. I want you guys to hit your goals. I really, really do. So trying to give you as much information as I can as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.